Welcome back. Our next guest has a little bit of everything to offer, but what I can tell you is that he is a lovely and very special human being who does all these things with great heart. And his passion is to help people have better lives. And how can we possibly argue with that? Larry Kaufman is a regional managing director for the Midwest region at Jefferson Wells, a manpower group company. He's a senior level sales and operations leader and has been a globally published speaker and trainer on LinkedIn for 15 years. And that's how we connected. We connected with him as LinkedIn Larry which at first I thought was, oh, cool. Let's find out about this guy. And the more I found out, the more I loved him and felt that Good Day would love him and the community would love him too. So Larry, thanks for coming to the show. And I can't wait to share more of you with our viewers, but I'm going to let you tell the story. So LinkedIn Larry is how I know you today, but you've got so much going on before you got to today. So bring us a little bit up to date and then we'll talk about what's going on for you now. Well, yeah, thank you, Lauren. Great, great to be here. Yes, you are a great new friend and really thrilled to be on the show today. So before LinkedIn, Larry, yes, you know, LinkedIn has not been around forever, but really I was just someone who, you know, was always in the business world, you know, out of college, and I would say less of a person that thought about other people. And so my life took a shift probably just over 15 years ago, you know, doing the LinkedIn, you know, became becoming a speaker, but really starting to pivot and think about people like you and others and starting to have this shift to think, you know, maybe I should put other people first. And that, that wasn't my life in college. That wasn't my life early in business. And it was really, you know, a big major change for me and transformational and just makes me feel better. Like I, I enjoy waking up because I'm thinking, what am I going to do for someone else today other than myself? So, so was there a moment, can you pinpoint a moment that this shift, this kind of light bulb moment? Well, yes. Yeah, so there, there was that, that light bulb moment. It was with an attorney. I know you're thinking, oh, an attorney, but it was an attorney that I was recommended to me when I was in a leadership role at an industry company similar to the one I'm at today. And this was, you know, it was probably back, I would say about 2006, 2007. And I met this attorney and I, I was hesitant. I said, you know, in my role today, it doesn't make sense to even meet with an attorney unless I did something bad. I, I need representation. But we met and something he did at the end of the meeting was interesting. He said, Larry, I'm going to introduce you to two people that you don't know. I said, well, why are you going to do that, Brian? And he said, I just want to add to your network of relationships. And I think these two people be people you should know. Now, I didn't automatically switch and just start connecting two people at the end of every meeting, but that light bulb went off. And so I started to think differently in meetings. And I would think, oh, Lauren, you should know this person in my network because they align with what you do in your career and who you are as a person. And so I started to be a little more intentional. And I did start to make connections. It wasn't two. It could be eight. It could be three. It could be none. But that's the shift in my career and the way I think personally and professionally. Well, and that is exactly what you did when we met. You started thinking about who do you know? And that's that's a great question that I love to ask myself and others, just who do you know? If I like you, then chances are you know other people I would connect with from a heart place. I don't mean just, you know, transactionally. Um, but for our viewers, just to make sure everyone knows, LinkedIn is probably the best known and most used business social platform. And it really has honored that business culture over all of its years. And that's the part that keeps it really clean and nice that you feel like you can trust the people you meet on LinkedIn. And, and if you're going to put your name out as LinkedIn, Larry, I'm guessing that you really have found great success in the association. So, 
how did that come about? You really just decided to put your out to put yourself out there, brand yourself with LinkedIn. Yeah, you know, and I I had met a, a woman who was hosting a meeting every month to about 35 business owners. And when LinkedIn was about a million members, and there's there's over 800 million members today as we speak. She had said, hey, would you like to present about LinkedIn? You seem to know a little bit about it, and I knew very little. But you know what? When you know more than everyone in the room, you appear to be the expert. I wasn't LinkedIn Larry yet that day. I think I did a terrible job, but they said I did quite well. And I, I promised myself I would really get to understand the tool and find you know better ways to use it and better ways to present and share my knowledge. And so it just started getting better and better. I honed my my skills and knowledge around the tool. And one day in Vegas, presenting to a group, I was given the name LinkedIn Larry and it stuck. So I've kept it. It works. It does work. It it sounds good. It it sticks in my memory very, very well. Yeah. And the other thing that sticks in my memory is that you've actually written a book on relationships yes. and you talk about developing amazing relationships from college to retirement. That is a pretty big span of our life. And you talk about life legacy. So I'd love to hear how the book came about and then give us some of your key thoughts and lessons from the book. Well, thank you. You know, the, I think the book evolved as something I wanted to do for just college kids, because like I, I said before, when I was in college, it was not about me and many of us aren't about me. It's funny, a lot of the kids that I counsel and coach today are very different than me, but they're getting it. And and I wanted kids going to college in college to understand the importance of cultivating relationships with your professor, your peers, and even outside of school. You know, your your parents, you know, as parents, we kind of push on our network to our kids. You should know you know, Tom or Mary in my network, they're in business, they're really going to help you. And so I wanted to help the college kids. And then I thought, you know what, I think every stage of our life and career, we need, you know, to build those relationships and not stop. And then retirement, you think, oh, why continue retirement? Because we still have kids or grandkids or other family members and friends that may need help and leverage our network and relationships. And so I really felt that, you know, writing this book could help so many understand how to build relationships, how to be a connector, how to be philanthropic and be a giver and how it all ties together. And I incorporate LinkedIn because LinkedIn plays a role to do that research about people and understand how to make those connections. So it all came together and, I put that out in July of 19, and I speak on the book and LinkedIn together. So the book is called The NCG Factor. What does NCG stand for? Networking, connecting, and giving. Cool. You know, it reminds me when when I was small, and I'm betting that you did this or you're doing it with your own kids. You know, we had to sell stuff to raise money for school or for you know, extracurricular activities. And of course I would turn to my parents and say, who should I call? And my parents would, of course, you know, give us, he would, they would give us the names and the phone numbers, but they would not make the calls for us. I say, you're welcome to call. You need to be polite. Let's write a script. Let's get you comfortable asking for something from someone else, but asking not for yourself. So I think that makes it so much easier to start a relationship that way. And ultimately, it always comes back to you. Do you find that as well? It does. And, and you don't, you don't uh, you know, give to get. That's not my philosophy, but I agree with that. And our parents were wise, right? That they were kind of getting us to network early on. I just wish we had LinkedIn back then. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like that we had a uh, landline wall telephone with the cord that was long enough that I could be outside the kitchen, but that my parents could still hear the conversations and they could course correct if I was making mistakes along the way or 
they would support me and say, hey, that sounded great. How did that go? And right. could show them that the person bought from me and I could check that off the list. There was something to be said for not doing it all in silence. And I do remember cord, corded phones, cordless, <laughs> rotary, it dates ourselves, but hey, what the heck, that's fine. Hey, we should all be dating somebody. So that's we're not right. dating ourselves. it's all good. So I, in reading your bio, which just keeps getting deeper and deeper, I love the fact that um, you've appeared in movies. People might actually recognize you, but not know you from where, but I'm not going to go into that direction. What I especially do want to talk about is how you have also taken this relationship and connecting into the dating world, because I think people wouldn't expect you to go from such a serious sounding business perspective and platform to then making connections and actually having a successful marriage come out of this one. So I need to hear more about that. Well, you know what, it's, it's all about relationships, but you know, how do you get to know people? You ask questions and you, you know, if you, if you lead with yourself, you'll leave with yourself on a date or in a business meeting. And so if I, get to know you, Lauren, and I learn all about you personally, and then we can go to professionally, I may uncover something about your life. So maybe you're married, you're widowed, or you're you're in the dating mode. And as I learn about that, so I dig a little bit deeper. So, oh, you're, oh, you're not married. So are you with someone today? No, I'm kind of getting back in the circuit. Oh, what, what are you looking for? What do you mean? What's your, what's your, profile of the type of person you're looking for, height, you know, is there an age range? Is there something about them that you you want them to have? And then I start to go, oh, you know what? I I may be able to help you in that department. And so I've made connections where people fall in love. A couple was married. I just put a couple together the end of last year. It, you know, it was it was just one of those things my wife said, you need to help so and so. They're going back on the dating circuit after six years. They were widowed and, you know, it was a big move. And uh, I made one introduction and nailed it. So I I listen. So it's just like me trying to connect you with a potential client or someone that could help you professionally or personally. I'm getting to know you and I'm profiling. So I'm kind of like a free dating service, but don't have everyone come my way this is just the sideline that I do in addition to helping others. Well, I know from our viewership in our community, you know, some people are looking for business contacts. Some people are looking for love connections and you have the complete package. So while I won't sell your love connection side, it's it's not a bad side gig. It, it kind of works. It all makes sense. Larry, I know our viewers are going to want to find you and learn more. How can they do that? So you could definitely find me on LinkedIn. So I'm in Chicago. You'll find me in Chicago in all caps when you look up Larry Kaufman. And then I also have a, a website. I think that you'll be able to share, uh, right? So you'll be able to find me on the website, which is also up on the top of my LinkedIn profile. And then on Amazon, if you look me up or Larry Kaufman, the NCG factor, those are all the ways to find me. Okay. Well, I'm sure you'll be hearing from us and I'm so grateful. Thank you again for coming to share with us today, Larry, good luck. And I will look forward to hearing some updates where maybe you actually did make some connections for our community members. Maybe. Thank you so much, Lauren. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. And we'll be right back.